Oh hi, it's Bukai and welcome back to another video guide of Eidolon and today I'm going to be showcasing the post office. Now the way the post office works is it's fairly simple. Every day you're going to be getting three different orders that you have to send and they will scale the amount that they require based off of your order streak number there. Now the way that this works is it scales with the amount of resources needed based off of your order streaks. The order streaks are quite important to keep an eye on because every five you can see you get plus one box. So this guy gets none, this guy gets none, but this one gets plus one. It's really important to make sure that you are maintaining those streaks on there. The post office used to scale based off of your shipment number and that's what used to determine the amount of resources that you needed. And that's something that I'm glad Lava changed, because considering it was just utterly, utterly broken on there. You could do nothing but play the post office. And even then, you would sometimes get like 60,000 frog horns, and it'd be like, well, great, I, I have every character on there doing frog horns, and it cannot be done. So, yeah, the post office has been thankfully fixed to be a lot easier to grab. Now... Every time you complete an order on there, you're going to be getting these boxes and you get these little little bits of resources on there. So I'm going to click that and watch as my money goes up and I get my 50 peanuts and my two of my worthless armor stone ones. If you have insufficient quantity, for example, on this iron hatchet, I will do this at a demonstration. It's probably easier for me to actually complete it. But what happens is if you can't complete an order, but you have a streak going. So I'm on order streak number 63. It's close to 65. I want to get that to the box. So what you do is you can click on this silver pen and click on tap to refresh. And I got an even worse one on there. I got the blue tee. Yeah, I'm not completing that. Eh, gold helm on there. Yeah. Gold boots. Wow. Wow. Okay, iron boots I can do after. That's fine. But... If you noticed, every time I did use those silver pens, it added up and gave me an extra shield. So this shield here goes up by one for every time that you use a silver pen. And the way it works is that it protects your actual sh a, a shipment number if you miss it. So if you aren't able to complete it in a day, it will count down by one shield a day. So in other words, you keep your streak. So for on this one, I have 30 days on there to get rid of. 18 days to get rid of, and 33 days to get rid of on that one. It's quite a long time on there, so once you get too high on the streaks, you don't want to have the shields too high. To an extent, I'll show you guys an exploit later on in this video that proves that, no, it might be beneficial to just do it anyway if you've got the keys and the pens to do it. So I'm going to complete this frog legs on there and get my golden kebab, and you know what, I might as well equip my golden kebab. So the post office is a really good resource to getting your golden foods and to getting your stats. Once you've done those, you can go over here towards my Bob's boxes. Now, this is where you invest to get your actual stats on here. So, for example, this box here is my Civil War Memorial box, which is one of the number one fight boxes that you want to be investing in. It gives you plus base damage, plus fight AFK gains, plus critical chance. And the way that this works is it goes, you need your first 25 points to unlock the second tab, and then your first 100 points to unlock the third tab there. You get diminishing returns after 200, so don't invest too much past 200 until you basically have no other choice but to invest in. Now, on the health box, you're going to be getting base max hit points, max percentage max hit points, and percentage self-heal per minute. Your Magician Starter Pack, you're going to be getting your base mag, uh, MP, your percentage max MP, and faster cooldowns. Within the Bob's boxes for the box of unwanted stats, you're going to be getting accuracy, base defense, and then plus monster experience so that's really only for fighting monsters on there I'm not sure why he just didn't call it class experience but it is what it is into the dwarven supplies this is where you invest if you are trying to get your good old-fashioned miner so you get mining efficiency prowess which is essentially your it's essentially just a fancy way of saying more efficiency and more mining power on there at once it i think it comes from maple story and you're mining AFK gains. Going into the smithing, I haven't actually invested at all into the smithing, so this is just smithing experience, and that's really about it that I know. 
Uh, the chopping one gives you your chopping efficiency, your prowess efficiency for chopping, which again is the same as the mining, and your chopping AFK gain. Looking at the food pack, I haven't actually invested this up to a up to a hundred yet on any of my characters, so it kind of goes not consume foods and health food effects, and I haven't figured out what the exact one hundred is yet. Now for the sealed fish heads, you gain your fishing efficiency, prowess eff effect, and you gain your fishing AFK gain. For alchemy, I haven't invested in it uh, yet on there, but it gives you percentage brewing speeds, and there are others on there if you would plan to make a full-on alchemy investment. Catching is the same as the others. You get catching efficiency, prowess efficiency, and you gain catching AFK rate. Looking towards your non-predatory loot boxes on your drop box, you get drop rarity, you get plus luck, and you get crystal mob spawn. It's probably the most important box to invest in for a journeyman, in my opinion, outside of the Civil War Memorial box. Now that I've gone through all of the boxes on there, it's time to show off a little bit of an exploit, or it might not even be an exploit on there, I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling that this isn't, isn't intended on there. Now, if you're like me and you get really lucky on the actual silver pens and you end up with a nice pool of them, uh, you know, you could be like me lucky on that, but then I still haven't gotten a stupid shiny frog on there. I've got like 10,000 frogs and I don't have, actually it's more like 4, 5,000 or 6,000, whatever the number is, but I still haven't gotten a shiny. But I can get like 80 silver pens and I've got 30 left. What I notice is, is that when I started spending them, I'm like, that's going to take forever to spend them on any time I miss this. But then I noticed, oh, you could do this. It says tap to refresh on one of the completed orders. Oh my god, it works. So you can refresh a completed order and start cycling through. And okay, there's one that I can't actually complete because I don't have enough resources. I'll just skip that. And look at that. Jungle logs. We're now at 35 streaks and we've got 36 shields. Meaning I have a month to maintain this streak on there. That's not bad. So if I go away anywhere, if I stop playing for a bit, I can come back and this streak will still be going. It is a little bit of a, in my opinion, it is a bit of an exploit on there. And ooh, I can't complete that one either on there. So let's just skip that. And there we go. Goblin ears. Huzzah! And that's all it is on there. If you've got the silver pens to burn, it's really useful just to go through. And also, if you've got the resources to burn, it's really useful to push on this thing on there. And if you look there, for order streak of 40, I'm getting a plus three boxes on there. So that's what it means by keeping your streaks up and why you don't want to lose them, because it actually compounds on top of each other. So right there, I gain more boxes. And just by doing that, I'm now up to 17 additional boxes. I think it was up to four before. So I'm going to just dump them all right into my Bob's boxes, into the fighting box. And getting 171, increasing my crit chance, my fighting AFK gains, and my base damage. So I hope that this video has been helpful for people on there. If you guys enjoyed it, don't hesitate to give it a like, a subscribe, pass it on to your friends. If you hated it, pass it on to your enemies. And if you would like to help out support the channel, there's a coffee shop in the link below where you can buy me a coffee. It'd be much appreciated. If you'd like to join the community, there is a Discord link down there as well. So with that, take care, everyone.